Good morning. IT people suck. They're terrible, aren't they? No, they're not. The other day, something happened and it took me right back to the days when I was an IT support person. I have been in IT for a long time, but that one moment really flipped me back to that time. I love IT, I love everything about technology, and I did enjoy my time working as an IT support person, but there were certain things that happened that I'd forgotten, and this one moment flipped me back. Now, IT support people, they are the greatest people on earth, both men and women, as far as I'm concerned. But let me tell you what happened so that you, you can understand why this moment was so important to me. I was, I recently, I've been involved in trying to improve the way I use I, YouTube. I'm not very good, not disciplined, not consistent, not very good videos or anything. So I thought, let me take this 1K YouTube challenge and get involved in the whole pro process to improve what I do. I have been doing that and one of the parts of the process was to meet and greet, join a welcome program. So I was actually getting ready two days ago. I had to rush and do my tasks and my chores. Um, I'm a carer, so part-time. And there's certain times where you just cannot predict what your day is going to be like. So even they knew I had something. I had to tell them I've got a four o'clock appointment, don't want to miss it, dashing to do everything I needed to do for them. They were so kind. They realized that I'm not usually rushing, so they released me. Plonked myself down on the chair, in front of my device, a device I had used the previous night for at least a two hour session on Zoom um, that had worked perfectly, no glitches at all. Plonked myself in front of the device, ensured there was electricity plugged in, Wi-Fi on, camera ready, action. <laughs> Joined the Zoom meeting, everything seemed to be going perfectly. There I was listening to the welcome message and following the instructions. A few minutes later, they asked us to split out into meeting rooms, which went through automatically and smoothly. In the meeting room, we were supposed to be discussing a particular question. There were four of us, and someone took the lead and decided to ask each of us individually to respond with our opinions to the question. So far, so good. No problem, right? Cool. So, next step. Number one answered the question, number two answered the question, came down to me and I pressed the unmute button, it didn't unmute. Pressed it again, it didn't unmute. Yeah, seems obvious, press unmute, it will speak. No, it didn't happen. I started to check the settings. We only had a minute or two to contribute to the discussion. Pressing unmute, going into settings, going into meeting options, did all the things that a normal uh, person would do and what an IT person would do, but still nothing would allow me to join the meeting. I was mortified. So, but because I was really intense on joining the meeting, opened the chat, typed in, I am YJ and I'm a passionate about technology and using it to impact people's lives. <laughs> wow. That made me the biggest joke of the group, obviously. Why? Because in people's eyes, there I was, I couldn't even unmute my uh, mic to join the meeting and have the discussion. And I'm saying, wow, I'm a technologist and I'm passionate about technology and using it to impact people's lives. So obviously it attracted certain responses. One of them was, oh, really? Well, you better learn how to use the technology and unmute the mic. Now, it hit me then, but I didn't let it get to me at that point because I was so intense on just being a part of the meeting and people were laughing. No problem, fair dues. They didn't understand the, the, what was behind, why I couldn't unmute the mic. I couldn't speak to them, couldn't tell them anything and so on. And, but I continued to type and I tried to participate in the meeting. I thought if I left the meeting and I came back to the meeting, I'd be able to rejoin and everything would be fine. Even that didn't occur. But that took me way back to when I started as an IT support person. I was one of the few females in, in that area doing IT support. And at the time, I really didn't think of anything of it. And really, at the time, I didn't have time 
to think about how I felt each day as I went through that journey when people would constantly be texting me trying to, to, to assess whether I actually knew my job, whether I actually could do my job when they would kind of look down on me and make me feel small because they felt that, well, it's not working and you're the IT person, so you should know. I have been put through that time and time again. But you know, recently, besides the, what that experience, and, why, and that was one of the reasons why that, the experience two days ago took me back to that, was I've also recently seen an IT support young man go through the same thing. And I just wanted to make people understand what an IT person faces. Yes, it looks like IT is touch that button and everything happens. But you see, what people really don't understand about technology is that technology is a meshwork of protocols, hardware, software, people, wires, Wi-Fi, invis um, invisible and visible things that must happen, gateways that must open and shut at the right time, switches that must flip and flop at the right time, electricity that must run at the right time, um, permissions that must be given at the right time and automatically. And if all these things don't happen, that simple press of the button is not going to happen. And this is it, you see. This is what I want people to understand. So when you say an IT person is useless, or when you make a, um, a, a, what seems to be a joke or a flippant comment about the fact that they can't even get that to work, that might have been the 50th, the 60th comment like that that they've had that day. And guess what? It may not be their fault. It is made nine times out of 10, it is totally out of their control. Now, the first comments and in, you know, individual comments, one-off comments, they may not kind of um, hit you too badly, but you get that repeatedly like a drip of water it becomes a little bit of a pool. It then becomes a river, and then it becomes an ocean in which they can drown in. Now, this young man was eventually sacked because they felt he wasn't doing a good job, and they brought in new people. And guess what? The new people now met, and when you come in new, you're bolder. You're bolder to be able to say that, what, your equipment is not working. It's poor equipment. It's old. It needs to be replaced. They now started to replace equipment and wires and networks that they should have done when he was there. But when he was there, they made him literally have to do gymnastics of miraculously trying every day to make it work in the way they wanted it, in the way they felt it. And the fact of the matter is, everybody thinks they're an IT guy. But IT is bigger than that button. It's bigger than that, that device you are watching me on. It's much bigger. To make that device work so seamlessly, there is a whole lot going on behind. And that IT person is only, is, is trying to do his part of the job. You can see him visibly trying in front of you, but there's a whole lot behind him. He has to go and check. He has to go and make sure it's working. He has to make sure it's, it's on. And that is not his fault. Those are third party things. And he can only ensure your part is working if their part is working. So all I'm saying to you is please, please, please. Next time you see an IT support person, be they male or female, take a little time to step back and understand the mammoth task he faces behind what you see as a simple click. Be kind to him. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Try to hold back on the jokes and the, and the comments and ask him what does he think might be the problem? Where, where do we go to next? A little kindness never hurt anyone. In addition, as a woman in IT support, I know how I felt. But in those days, I didn't have time to think, as I said. I just had to get on with it because this is the path I had chosen. This is the thing I love doing and I was not going to let anyone stop me from doing it. Even when they came at me, yeah, I would go and I'd have a little cry and I'd be a bit down, but I still got back up and I went for it. But why does it have to be like that? And I found at that time that both men and women were equally bad at attacking me. Why does it have to be like that? 
I believe you're a professional in what you do. You need to believe that. And when you meet a woman IT support person, she's there because she knows what she's doing. And you give her that respect. You act, both men and women, give them that respect, but particularly women. People are always asking, why, are there aren't, why aren't there a lot of IT support women? Well, this is a good reason why. You don't want to be constantly be get, getting those funny remarks. It's funny. Oh, she, you know, those kind of um, innuendos about, oh, does she really know what she's doing? You, didn't, you don't want to constantly be facing that every time you get, get up to go to your job. It makes it a miserable job to go to. So in the end, like most women might do, is they might opt to leave it. And then it's our loss as a nation, our loss as a business, because what they've got to contribute is important to the whole. So please, take a little time out to pause. There's a verse in the Bible that says, be slow to uh, anger, slow to speak and quick to listen. I think if more of us took that approach with IT support people, we would get a whole lot more out of them and they would be there for the long run and women in particularly would love to stay. Just a little word from an old IT, per IT support person. See you soon. Please, if you like what I talk about, please don't fail to come back. Talk soon. This is YJ. Bye.